But yeah, when I was a kid, man, I was I was getting beat up by my dad every fucking day. So how did that feel? Like, like obviously he was a drum fuck, and you know, obviously a coward. And I know he was a coward, and and I, I remember that I was ten years old, and that's when I figured out that this motherfucker is a coward, yeah. like a fucking pussy. Yeah. Um, I remember like I was I was playing in Cuba. You have these little balls that you aim mm -hmm. and you hit it. And then if you hit it, the guy have to give you one ball. And then if you aim again, you hit it, you have to give you another ball till he ended up having nothing. You take all his balls. So what's, I the, took, game, what's the game called? It's called ball. Oh yeah. I bolas. See. Okay. In Spanish, gotcha. bolas. Gotcha. Like play bolas. Gotcha. And I started jugando bolas. I'm, I was playing bolas, right? Balls. And I took all his balls and then the guy fucking ran. You know, he's like, I chased the guy, and he was, I remember like he was, it was at the back of the, of the neighborhood. And at that time in Cuba, like I'm living already in a small town, mm -hmm. fucked up. Yeah. And at the back is like the ghetto. It's like a end of the favelas, right? At the, at the back. Yeah. And his dad, it was like a guy who was in and out of jail. <sighs> You know, always stealing, stabbing people, sure. cutting people with machete and shit. Yeah. Pretty bad guy, I remember. And I go in and I'm like, where's my balls? Mm -hmm. And the guy came up. The guy got full tattoos, oh, yeah, yeah. beer, mm -hmm. all fucked up. He's like, you come here. Come inside the, outside the house. And it has a backyard. Mm -hmm. And he had about 10 kids, bro. He said, you fight now. Yes. And I started fighting one by one. Oh, shit. I punched the first one. And he's like, the other one, jump in. Oh, wow. Stop beating the other one. But as I'm fighting, they started fucking growing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he's bigger guy yeah. came in. Yeah. A year after, and a year after. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like for my feet fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the motherfuckers already five years older than me, you know, like yeah, yeah. fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Find, you need to find a way to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Jump the fence. Get out of there. Yeah. Ran to my house. Mm -hmm. As I'm hiding in my house, I'm feeling like, okay, this is my safe place. Yeah. Here we go again. Here we go again. It's my dad. Yeah, yeah. He came with the bell. But this time, instead to hit me with the part of the the leather, mm -hmm. he started hitting me with, with the oh. with the buckle. Oh, Cut me off. And I'm already all caught up, you know, scratch in the Why floor. is that? Because you just because you ran away from the fight, or is it because you got in the fight, or what? Just it's just it's whatever. just a coward. Yeah. And drinking, he was probably drunk, upset up something, so yeah. he laid on me. And I might like, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> he am I like running away, thinking I'm just gonna go to my house, and this guy at least just kind of like protect yeah. me. I don't want him to go up there and fight, and you know, which is I would do it. Mm -hmm. If I see my kid get beat up inside somebody's house, yeah. I'm gonna go up there and fuck this guy up. Yeah. But I wasn't even waiting for that. I was, you know, let, let me refugee here. Yeah. I get beat up again and I need to find a way. I said, like, I need to find a way to defend myself from this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I start doing judo. Eventually, like months later, he tried to beat me up and I'm flipping, I'm start punching him up. Cause you were doing judo at that particular time. But so, that was the worst. What was that, 10? You were like 11 years old? 10. 10 years old? I got kicked out of my house. Mm -hmm. I know I have a place to go. Oh, wow. So I, I go to my coach. Mm -hmm. He goes, what's up? I said, like, I don't have a place to be. Ah. He goes, well, what, what's happening with your house? I said, like, oh, my dad don't want me here. Oh, man. So he's like, oh, you know, I got to do something. So he, uh. Uh, call his coach, his coach he was in a training center. In Cuba, you have these facilities yep. where you can stay there. If you're good enough, mm -hmm. you can stay there, eat there, study, live there. And, you know, if, as you winning, you can go to, an, to another place, which is, is called the, the Junior National Center. Mm -hmm. I was in the province. 
So he's like, took me there, took me to his coach. He said like, look, you know, give it a chance to this kid. And the coach was, uh, he hasn't compete. Yeah. Yeah. Coach goes, no, put her, put her to compete to you best guys. I bet he will beat me. Yeah. I beat them. <laughs> I have to. Of course. You have no choice at this point. I would have been the street. Who knows? Yeah, you have no choice. So he's like, okay, he's going to stay. Yeah. And then the rest is history. Yeah. But um, yeah. it was it was horrible, bro. Yeah. 